What's up guys, Johnny here, bringing you a box opening video. Today I have 8 boxes of the new SAO EV for you guys, so let's get started. So, pretty excited about this set. Just because of that sale. So first pack, we have two one death gun. Oh, good card. No points. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave the rares out. Next pack. No points, that's good. Okay. Ah. Silica. Want to see as least of those as possible. Awesome. No. no points. Oops. Well, good thing that was no points. Ah, oh, good. 3 2 Asuna. Um, I feel like I skipped a couple of rares. Oh, never mind. Just my imagination. So, fifth pack. No points. Brainstormer. And Yui. Last pack. No points. Silica. Oh. Good card. And nice. Foil best girl. Alright. Moving on to the next box. Alright. Second box. I can already tell there's gonna be a huge mess for me to clean up after this. So, Yuki, Yuki, bar. Nice. And nice. No points. So, that was a pretty good pack. No points. Good. Oh no, Silica. Kirito. Asuna. Oh, that's a rare, actually. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth. Running out of space. Oops. Ooh. Oh, spoiler. Signed best girl. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. So that's very nice. This card is extremely good. Wow. Oh. Isn't she just beautiful? So let's keep it going. Let's pull the other two. Uh, Yui. I don't think I've had him anymore. And, ooh. Nice. So, yeah, that was a good box. Moving on to the third. No points. Xenon, Leafa, more best girl. Foil Reverser, nothing wrong with those. Wouldn't mind getting those all day. Um, no points. Although I would like to see this in foil. Because that's worth quite some money. Oh, and the foil bar, which looks absolutely amazing. 
com compared to the regular bar. No points. Best restander. Liz and foil level three Yuki. I guess it's in a rare, but Yui, Liz, Sinon, Key, no points. So with this new EB, the Liz deck is probably going to be really strong. Okay. This is a rare. Oh, up here. Ooh, speaking of which. This is actually my first one of these in foil, so that's kind of sad. No points. Come on, sign card. Okay. Nope. Alright. Moving on to box number five. Wait, not five. Four? I don't know, I lost track. This beauty has mesmerized me. I have lost track of numbers. Alright. No points. Best gun. Oh no. Silica, stop. Please. An angel dies every time one of you is pulled. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was another sign. Got my hopes up. Ah, oh, well, that killed the box. Still not a bad card. This climax also looks absolutely amazing. And this Oh yeah, so So I don't think I'll get any more points from this box. left and right. Oh wow. Alright, last pack for this box. Bar, Yui, Yui, Yui. Nice. Foil rares. Alright, next box. Alright, moving on to box number five. Just checking the camera here, making sure everything's in being shown. Um. Alright, I think that's all the rares. Yep, this is all the rares. So... I don't know, something like that. Alright. Cool, oh, almost forgot a pack there. See, these packs look really nice too, like the, the whole white and gold. Looks very fancy. Liz. Oh, another dead angel. Arguably, probably one of the worst cards, speaking of which. It's just not that great, and I don't even think a Silica Waifu deck could use it. They might use the 1 0 though, just for the hand fix. Nice. I'm getting a lot of Kirito's. Definitely not short print. Liz. Um, 
sit back. Yuki. Oh, I just said that she was short print. Hello, I have bought some boxes before these eight, so I haven't seen this foil very often, so maybe that's hard to get. Brainstormer. Oh, yes. Um, box number six. Foil level three, so I'll take that any day. But um, this is probably the most boxes for any set that I've gotten, and it's not necessarily the best <laughs> set. But my whole life is made of terrible decisions, so eh. At least the cards are pretty, except this. Yui. Foil Liz. Reverser. Oh, and here I was afraid I wasn't going to get any of these. Another Kirito. Loving himself. Uh, this is embarrassing. That means there's good cards inside, right? Right? No! <laughs> you are not a good card. Humble yourself. Alright. Two boxes left. Let's see. One sign from each. Can we live the dream? No points. Good sign. Clock shooter. Whoa. I don't think I tore that hard. Sina, Nasina, people. Hmm. It's the first one of those I've gotten. Ah, oh, another burn. Oh, foil brainstorming. Another mill eleven burn for infinity. Nice. Ooh, that makes my place out of those, so that's good. Elizabeth. Come on, sign card. Let's get greedy. Oh, nope. But it's okay, because we have one box left. Can we get two? Ooh, let's hope. That's a terrible sign. That's... this is horrible. <laughs> oh! Okay, it redeemed itself. Maybe Silica's not so bad. She's like the new Sugu Smiles. Alright. Please Silica, 
give me another sign and I'll run four of the two two and four of the one zeros in your deck. Oh, spoilers. Always good for those. Pretty decent global Liz assist. Oh, makes three. Three fours. Um, I will have a recap at the end of the video, which will be soon. Kirito, Xenon, still, I think I've only seen two foil Xenon level zeros. That's the real chase card. Forget the signs. More Kirito. Kirito is my spirit animal. All right, last pack of the last box. Good sign. Oh, well, that's not a bad ending, nope. All right, so I'll cut away and give you guys a recap of what I got. All right, guys, so recap. So we got one silver bag. And I guess part of the recap, I'll review the cards as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Kirito's, which is insane because he's probably one of the best cards in the set. So if you have two or less climaxes in your waiting room, he can come out early, so minus one level one hand. And on play, draw two, discard one. And on your opponent's turn, he gets 500 per every other avatar net. So. He is a really good card with a non-existent condition because SAO can refresh at level 1 pretty easily with multiple brainstorms and a mill runner. So he is definitely a great card. Next we have 6 of these 3-2 asanas. She heals on play and um, she has a recollection effect. If you have the... Where is she? you have this Yuki in your memory, then she gets the ability to pay one, discard one. When her damage is cancelled, you can burn your punt for one. And how this Yuki, which we got five of, gets into memory is, when this Austin attacks, you can pay four and discard one, mill the top 11 cards of your deck, and burn your opponent for every soul trigger that's revealed. And by soul trigger date, you mean this. So that's how they get to memory. So six and five, only one foil sadly, and one short of a foil place out of that. Next we have six of these level three Yukis, um, two foils. So on play you reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an avatar net she gets clock shoot for the turn and her second effect is when she attacks both players mill the top card of her deck and if your level is higher than the card of your opponents, then you get a blind stock. Next, we got five of these Yukis. If I didn't get those boxes prior to these, I would be pretty upset that I only got five because I was playing on using, having at least um, a playset for the main deck and then a playset for the Sleeping Knights decks, but I got three more from my other boxes, so that's good. But um, what this card does is, on play, it gets um, plus X power equal to um, the number of avatar nets on the field times 500. So when you flip with a full field, she becomes 1065, and then she climax combos with the bar trigger. Um, on attack, you can pay one, discard one, and search your deck for two avatar nets and add it to your hand. So she's a Pretty cool card. The only demerit for her is the 4,000 power. So she's a little weak on defense. Next, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these um, level zero reversers, but they are clock reversers. So if, when they get reversed, if their battle opponent is level zero or lower, you can t put the top card of your opponent's clock into the waiting room and then send that character to the clock. So it's a level zero clock kick and it also has hand on core, which is pretty crazy. So not a bad card to get. 
And next we have six of these brainstormers. This is the first search brainstormer in SAO um, at level zero because the only other one was a one zero Kirito. And I, I mean like actually search, not like hand fix like Xenon. So, um, and their second effect, you know, so it's pay one rest two for every climax you search for an avatar net. And their second effect is the Asuna or Yuki in your um, middle of your center stage gets plus 1,000 plus one level. So they make your Yuki's and Asuna's pretty huge. Next, I got six of these 1 0 Asuna's. If you have a Yuki on the field or a Sleeping Knight, then they get 1 5. So comes 106k pretty good I got five of these loses um, three no two foils um, they get 500 per every other avatar net and they have an accelerate ability so beginning of climax phase clock yourself and they get one plus one level and the effect when they reverse their opponent you can salvage a character so more salvage for Liz Next, I got six of these um, 001000 Liz. She's a global 500, and when you use an accelerate ability, you can pay one and salvage a character. So she's also a pretty decent card and combos really well with the 10. Next, we have seven of these 001000 Kiritos. You can rest him to give a character 1000. And if he's in the back row and a character in your front row is sent to the waiting room, you can send him to the waiting room and that character comes back rested. So it's a pseudo encore and his second effect makes it so he's not absolutely useless in the back row. And then lastly, I got way too many of these. Two, four, six, seven of these UEs. If you have six or more cards in hand, she gets one fives. So 4k beater, but there's so many better options up for SA with level zero. So, moving on to the commons. Starting off the yellow commons, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these Lalia Asanas, which is actually a really good card. Um, her effect is at the beginning of your encore phase, you put the top card of your deck into the waiting room, and if it's a level 0 card, then she goes to the waiting room. So, if it hits a climax or a level 0, she dies. But the cool thing is, she's 4k and it's at the beginning of your encore, so you still get an attack out of her. And if she does die, she frees up a slot for your opponent to attack into, forcing you to level 1 faster. It's actually a pretty good card, because yellow had some pretty meh level zeros up until now. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 9 of these um, 0,0,500 asanas. She is a bonder for the... 2-1 Yuki level assist and her second effect is the character in the center in the middle of your center stage gets plus 500 so yeah she's not that bad but she bonds for a um, level assist which is questionable but I'm not actually I'm not sure on that um, middle assist don't quote me on that Next, two, four, six, eight, ten, exactly, with playset foils. Uh, this 2 1 Asana, she climax combos with this wind trigger here. Um, on attack, she gets plus 4,000 in one soul. And her other ability is she gets 500 per every other um, avatar net. So with the climax combo, she becomes 9k, 13k, 14k, 3 soul before assist. So Pretty good card, seeing as how SAO lacks level 2s. So, we have 3 foil wins and 6 not foils. So, 9 wins. Moving on to green. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these Yugi's. She is a 500 global. No, no. She gives this uh, one zero Asana right here. Where is she? She gives this one zero Asana five hundred hand encore, 
and her second ability is pay one bond for the same asana. So with her on the field and the asana, she becomes 1065 of hand on core. So pretty good. Next, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 of these 2, 1, Asuna and Yuki. Um, so they get plus 1, 5 for every marker underneath them, and when they reverse their opponent, you can choose an avatar net in your waiting room and put it under them as a marker. So they don't get a level, but that, that way they don't get hit by um, anti-change. Next, two, four, six, eight, ten of these one, one Yuki backups. It's a one, five backup, and when you use the backup, you can check the top card of your deck and leave it there to put it at the bottom. So it's a, it's kind of like Leafa, but it doesn't add to your hand, and it's at level one. Uh, I just wish she wasn't one, five. Next, two, four, six, eight, nine of these two, one Yuki level assist. She is a level assist to front, and you can pay one and give an avatar net plus 1500. So she's probably used for the Yuki clock shoot since the Yuki clock shoot does not get any power. So it's she's a pretty good level assist. Next, I have two, four, six, eight, nine of this Yuki. She is a 500 global, and you can rest her to give an Asuna or Sleeping Knight's character 500. Next, I have two, four, six, eight, nine of um, uh, other Asuna in uh, Brock. So their effect is if you have, I believe it's this Asuna and this Yuki, I'm pretty sure. It, it might be this Yuki or um, it might be this Yuki. But anyways, if you have those two cards, they get uh, minus one level in hand. And a climax combo with the green stock soul. So on attack, they... You choose a avatar net in your waiting room and you put it in stock and then it gets 1-5 until the end of your opponent's turn. So st stock charge. Moving on to Leafa. We got three foils and six non-foils, so nine. So that seems to be a recurring number for the commons here. So if she's alone in the front row, then she gets 1-5. So 4k beater for Leafa, pretty good. And this art, I don't know why, but it makes her look like she has a hat on, like a sombrero. What, what has been unseen cannot be unseen. But it's really just a shadow. And lastly, for Leafa, two, four, six, eight of this one zero. She's at 500 global, and you can pay to rest her and search your deck for an avatar net. So, moral support for Leafa. And then we have an insane amount of bars. Two, four, six, eight, ten bars with three being foil. So, um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine green stock soul. Moving on to red. We have two, four, six, eight, nine best gun. So he has a brainstorm for every climax you hit, choose a level zero target on your opponent's field and send it to the waiting room. So I guess they just had to give Death Gun a card in the set, but this could have been my salvage one discard one Liz brainstorm that she so desperately needs, but at least the Liz Gun deck will be strong. Next, um, these cards no one cares about. <laughs> uh, too many of these. Two, four, six, eight, nine. This one zero silica. She is on play, discard a card, and salvage a silica or pina, I believe. And her second effect is a climax phase change. Pay three, discard one, change into this two two. That I also got way too many. Ah, oh, foil play said. Ten of these. 
Um, so her effect is when you play her from hand, you have to discard a card or else she goes to waiting room because she's 9-5, so she's oversized. And when she comes from waiting room only, she gets the effect. If there's a peanut on the field, she gets the ability. When she reverses her opponent, you can salvage a avatar or net character or familiar character. So, yeah. The strongest card in the set right here. Moving on to blue, the color that matters. Because this, 2, 4, 6, 8. Um, 2, 1, 3, KC non. She's a global 1, 5 to all your characters on your opponent's turn. And on play, discard a card, look at top 4, choose an avatar net, add it to your hand. So it's the Akatsuki Asusa ability, but at level 2. And honestly, with me playtesting her, she's her Akatsuki ability at level 2 is pretty useful. Because if you play, like, say, Akatsuki late game, then she's just a level 0. And she doesn't really do much. But if you play this card late game, then on your opponent's turn, you get a 1-5 global. So she's not completely useless when you play her. Next. The dream is dead. Two, four, six, eight, nine. If only two foils. Ugh. Anyways, um, what this Xenon does is on play, give a character um, plus one of your characters, oh, Avatar Net, 1000 until the end of your opponent's turn. So 1k for two turns. Just two. Why? Ten, ten, two, two silicas. And continuing the trend of best girl because right there, two, four, six, eight, nine again. So what what best girl dot card here does is every level three character or higher character in front of this gets plus two thousand. And on play you can draw one discard one. Next Two, four, six, eight of these one zero UEs. She is a 500 front assist and up to twice per turn when you play an Asuna or Kirito character. You can look at the top card of your deck and put it there or leave it at the bottom. So, I don't know why they keep giving UE to chop checks because SCR really doesn't need it. And actually, the only card that needs it is the level 3 Yuki, but it doesn't work with this. So, I don't know. Next, two, four, six, seven, only seven of these. Um, it's a 1-0, one 1,000 one Kirito with a 1-5 backup. And when you play him from hand, um, you can give a character 1,000. So he's a pretty good card because even if you don't use his backup, you play him, he's not completely useless. And his backup power doesn't lose anything from having a second ability, which is nice. And then last, but certainly not least, the most OP card in this game, 2, 4, 6, 8 of these 2-1 Kiritos, if only I could run 8 in a deck. So he climax combos with this pants trigger here. Um, on attack you can pay 1 and all your characters get plus 3,000. He also has a second effect. When your opponent becomes reverse, you can shuffle your deck and reveal the top card of your deck. If it's this card, then he can restand. So, level 2 restander. And then we have 4, 8. 8 exactly. Um, with only 3 foils. Darn. So, I can't put all 4 foil pants in my deck to use that broken combo. But, um, yeah, guys, that's the box opening. Hope you enjoyed being graced by Best Girl's Presence, like I have. And until next time.